What's up guys? So today I have a setup video for you. So that means that I will be showing you how to get the look that is on my device and basically all the tweaks and themes that I use to get that look so you can get it on your devices. So let's start it up. That's my first setup video. I actually got inspired by a guy named Cody, you probably know him. He's on YouTube, I will put a link to his channel if you want to check it out, it's really cool. So let's start this setup video. So first here on my lock screen, I have, uh, this is a log glyph and the theme I'm using for a log glyph is called Kingdom Hearts and this right here is Groovy Lock and uh, the theme I'm using for Groovy Lock is called Cataracts and if you want to get that blur uh, you have to change the options of the Cataracts theme in iFile I'm gonna put uh, instructions in the description for you so you can do it and what you don't see on my lock screen basically the notification center grabber, the control center grabber the camera grabber and everything else that you don't see is due to hide me 8 or hide me 8 night so if we go ahead and unlock my device you can see that I have a tweak here that's called uh, hot dog that can change uh, the text here and that's about for my lock screen so um, on my home screen on my springboard you can see that I have a nice theme there that's called Muse and um, you get it uh, in Cydia and install it to Winterboard I'll just show you in how it looks in Winterboard just those two elements I have Muse UI and Muse Essentials selected right now if you want the settings you can select Muse settings so yeah just go ahead and install the theme to through Winterboard and um, then you can see that I have icons behind my icons so this is due to a tweak called Apex 2 and it's really cool you can see you can add other icons behind your already existing icons so behind my settings app I have Cydia and iFile and behind my messages I have Viber and email so this is really amazing you can put apps behind apps and group them it's really amazing tweak um, once again it's called Apex 2 and what um, you actually see here that uh, my my dock is changed this is due to classic dock so what classic dock does is it gives you um, the dock from iOS 6 basically and um, you can see that uh, it gives you these nice icon reflections and I don't know that dock just looks really nice on iOS 8 so once again it's called classic dock if you want to get that classic look of the dock and um, <clears throat> so that's um, that's it for my springboard for my icons oh uh, I almost missed it um, so I have also iconoclasm you can see that my icons uh, are grouped like 3x3 three three, and that's due, that's due to iconoclasm and uh, when you install the tweak my, se my setup here is called 3x3 three three dance so it's one of the uh, default setups of this tweak it's called uh, iconoclasm once again and once you install it you select 3x3 three three dance and uh, you have my springboard so that's about it for the springboard if we jump to the control center you can see that I have a few tweaks here um, first uh, some of my control section some of my control center sections are gone this is due to hide me uh, no uh, sorry this is due to um, a tweak called uh, CC clean and what CC Clean does is actually it allows you to uh, remove some sections of your 
uh, control center. You can see that I don't have airdrop or media controls. This is due to CC Clean. And um, the theme I'm using here is called Gotham Glyphs CC. And if you want to get it, you have to install the Gotham Glyphs Metaball theme. And I will put a link down in the description so you can download it and instructions how to install it because you have to use iFile, it's not, it, you don't get it from Cydia so I will leave the instructions below for you to get it and um, we also have here a tweak called um, Uniformity 2 so, you, so what Uniformity 2 does is it allows you to change the color of the toggles in the control center you can see my toggles that are disabled are red and my enabled toggles are blue so this is due to Uniformity 2 and uh, this nice background, which is blurred, is due to system apparel. I guess that's the right way to pronounce that. So what system apparel does is um, it blurs your background behind the control center. It's really cool. So this is for my control center. And jumping on to the notification center, I have the battery doctor widget. It's actually an app from the app store. It's called Battery Doctor and it has a widget for the notification center. And uh, the tweaks here that I have installed are, as you can see, notification. I also has, have this in my control center. You can see it's rounded. And also in my switcher cards. You can see that switcher card is rounded here. And so that's due to notification. It runs your banners, your notification banners, your control center, your notification center and your app switcher. Basically it rounds almost everything and it's really cool. It's called roundification. So I have the battery doctor widget roundification going on here. I also have um, a tweak called simple NC so you can hide uh, the separators here and um, yeah it just gives a nicer look to your notification center. So for my notifications, I actually use a couple of tweaks. The first one is called Watch Notifications. And what it does is it actually gives you the notifications from the Apple Watch. So I'll just send a test notification here. And as you can see, the notifications look just like those on the Apple Watch. So it's a really cool tweak. And the next tweak I'm using for my notifications is called um, Priority Hub. So it lets you view the notifications by app. So if you have um, notifications from a few apps here, from few apps, from a couple of app, apps, uh, you can select the app and it will show only the notifications for this app. So it's really nice. Uh, you can view the notifications by app, otherwise they are just all there. And if you have notifications from a few apps, it's a bit confusing. So. Priority Hub, we really a nice tweak. So that's about it guys, that sums up this video. This, these are all the tweaks and themes that I'm currently using to get that look. And I'll be sure to put a list of the tweaks in the description below so you can get them. And also I will put instructions on how to install the Gotham Winterboard theme and how to get that blur um, here in Cataracts from iFile. I'll put uh, instructions for this down in the description. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed, and thanks for watching. Peace out.